Hello pals, welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Jen and today I thought I would film some outfit suggestions. I got you guys to ask me uh, what you needed help styling and I have a bunch. I haven't really planned out anything. I'll just see what comes to me. And uh, yeah, let's get styling because it might be long. <laughs> All right, for this first one, I'm thinking comfort. We're going to university. I hate feeling uncomfortable when you're sitting in a lecture for like so, so long. So this is what we're starting with. Just some loose pants and a cute crop top. Obviously some Doc Martens. I've gone with the 1461 style. You're not gonna get sore feet when you're walking or running to each class. And then I thought, I was at an art school, so if I was gonna try and look kind of cool and creative, I might add a vest. So I thought I would add this vest on. Sometimes it can get a little bit cold when you're in a lecture too, so it's kind of nice to have something that's warm. And obviously I would have a Cancan backpack with all my stuff in it because you're gonna be carrying around probably a laptop. And I'll probably be wearing my glasses because I need to see the board or see what people are actually talking about. I went to film school so I'd probably be good if I had glasses to see the subtitles to all the international films. So again, going to a comedy show, I would be wanting to wear something comfortable because you're gonna be sitting for a while and you're gonna be laughing, so you don't want anything too tight. So yeah, I went with my big butt jumpsuit, which is something kind of cool and quirky to wear, something different. Obviously, it's probably a night out, so you wanna have it more of a night look. I don't really know how to dress for like going out. I kind of dressed up this jumpsuit a little bit. I've got a bag because you're gonna have all your stuff with you. And I added this like beret kind of knitted hat to give it a little bit of edge. But I would probably say don't sit in the front row. Like, <laughs> yeah, I've been there before where you've sat in the front row and they start telling a joke about you. And this outfit could be the butt of the joke. I'm assuming they could say something like, hey, green screen. But that's just me because I'm an introvert and I don't like any attention like that. So for this one, we're trying to tackle rainy, humid weather, which is not fun for styling. Plus, trying to hide your legs a little bit more when you're uncomfortable with the summer and you just want to wear dresses still. So for this, I have worn this kind of midi length dress. I've kept it super flowy. No like extra tops underneath or anything because when it's humid, all you want to do is chuck on something that's loose and just doesn't touch your skin. And yeah, so I went with this one. I've kept it longer so that I'm kind of hiding some of my leg areas, which I personally like to do a lot, was wear a longer dress. To tackle the rain, I've put on my Jaden boots. Obviously you can go with like rain boots or anything, depending what you have, but I would just stomp through the puddles in these bad boys. So even if this dress gets a little bit wet in the rain, it's still gonna dry really quickly because it's a nice thin fabric and you're good to tackle all the weather and all your dilemmas. So to meet an internet friend, I would want to wear, again, <laughs> something comfortable. Is that just going to be the theme for every single outfit? I want to like kind of dress to impress because I'm guessing I haven't met them before, but maybe they kind of know me. So I'd wear something that maybe I'm used to wearing in some of my photos or videos if you make videos. This one for me is actually quite a classic look and I wore something pretty similar to this when I saw my friend Brooklyn, when I went to Nebraska. Hi Brooklyn if you're watching, you're amazing. So yeah, I've just got these gingham pants as well as this collared top that you may have seen before and this black singlet on top to give it a little bit of a like clueless moment and I got the matching gingham hat to match the pants and then the shoes to kind of tighten the black top and if anyone was meeting me in real life I would hope that I was wearing my coolest Doc Martens. I feel like that's what you guys know me for maybe. So I don't know if you guys know this by now but I love a good pattern clash. It's just so fun to mix and match patterns and I could have gone so many different ways trying to style this, but I indeed went with this kind of 
most summery look because I am currently in summer over here in Australia. I think what ties these things together is the fact that each of these elements kind of have like a white like tone to it. So I got the white shoes, wave print jeans that have white in it as well as this swimwear top. Well, it's actually a one piece swimsuit, which makes this whole outfit really hard to go to the bathroom in, but who needs functionality? Um, <laughs> it's a yin yang design with some white bits in there. And then I paired it with this green top just to kind of ease you into the fact that we're wearing like two bold patterns. Although this outfit totally looks cool, you know, without the top as well. So yeah, let me know if you want a full video on pattern clashing because I could do so many examples of this but we have to roll on because there's way too many outfits that I have to style today. So I have explored a city many a times and every time I always walk so much so first thing you got to make sure you're wearing comfortable shoes so I have gone with these red 1461 docks as well as very comfortable pants. I told you the word of the day is comfortable. It is a bit kind of like Nana meets 70s grandpa <laughs> look, but I dig it. You probably want a bag just in case you buy anything in the city. So I've got this little crochet tote bag to kind of really <laughs> accentuate the crochet that I have going on here. And because it could get hot while you're walking up a storm in the city, make sure to wear a cool top underneath. So that bam, you still look pretty put together or if you feel kind of embarrassed wearing crazy crochet and you're in a kind of posh part of town, yeah, you look classy now. All right, a girl's day, shopping. I like to wear something that I can take off really easily when I want to try on things quickly. So I've gone with this very comfortable, stop saying that. <laughs> I've gone with this dress that buttons up down the front, it's super breezy and it kind of looks so cute though at the same time so you're not looking too shabby. I've got a little tote bag to put in all the things that I find and we're keeping with a very like bright, chill, girly look but then I've tried to make it a little bit different with these Vans. I know, hello, I'm wearing Vans instead of Doc Martens. I probably would wear my Mary Jane Docs with this outfit, but I was just trying to like work out if I should keep these shoes. I bought them the other day and I'm like, are they my style? Please do let me know if they do look cute. All right, Hannah, I can totally relate to you and I have been there, done a lot of long distance flights to see my significant other. So this is something that I literally just recently wore when I came back to Australia, but I would totally wear it going back to America to see my boyfriend. I live in this pajama set. It's just such a good investment if you're going to be wearing it all the time. It's this nice linen breathable fabric. It's super comfortable on the plane. It makes you look kind of put together. Some people may question why you're wearing pajamas, but like you look super cute in it. It's a lot different style than the regular like sweatpants kind of style on the plane. And I will be wearing my Doc Martens on the plane because usually they don't fit in my bag, but they do kind of elevate the look so it just doesn't look like pajamas, as well as I will have a bag to have all my important documents, like my passport, handy. And I feel like this still looks cute that if you left the airport and went to a restaurant or something, you would still kind of look quite chic. Or if you just ended up going to the bedroom. <laughs> you're kind of organized for that. So Ella, I took this opportunity to try incorporate every single one of your ideas. So I have got a work appropriate outfit. This is something that I wore a lot when I worked in retail pretty recently. I would always wear this long dress because whenever I was putting out stock or anything, you're like bending over a lot. So it's kind of comfortable to wear something longer. And then I also incorporated the fact that you wanted to impress your crush. You want to wear something cute, something that maybe has a cinched waist and be like, mm, look at me with some really cute Mary Jane shoes. Then this can also work to go to the beach. I have tried it. So basically this is a summer dress and you can just whip it off and maybe you have your swimsuit underneath and bam, beach ready. Oh my gosh, I am so jealous of your road trip, but 
I just recently came back from one and you know, I would be wearing overalls. They're just so loose and comfortable, plus pockets for like your phone, snacks, everything. So you have everything within arm's reach when you're sitting down just on the road for hours and hours. Yet if you have to go out and take some photos on the way, you look super cute still. And I also chose my Mary Jane Docs because they're so easy to slip on and off, for me at least. Like, I don't even unbuckle them anymore. I just kind of slip my foot in and away we go. So you can just take them off and put your feet on the dash when you don't need them. Now, I'm pretty sure the show isn't on Netflix, but um, if it isn't, just pretend I'm doing an American Horror Story outfit. <laughs> but literally, my favorite show ever that I've been watching recently is what we do in the shadows it's come from like the movie what we do in the shadows but now there's a tv show version and i've never laughed so much in my life watching a tv show so i have taken inspiration from that nadia in that show is like the best queen ever but i don't really have full-on like her kind of items like if i was dressing like her i probably would have worn like a black top underneath, but I don't have one. Yeah, this is basically what I would wear if I was in the show personally, if they turned me into a vampire and then I was kind of doing stupid antics around Staten Island. And this outfit is made up of so many different elements. We got the fishnet tights, the ducks, slip dress. We have two tops on, like a long sleeve flare sleeve top, as well as a puff sleeve top. Yeah, I've also got this like kind of vesty thing and a belt like just so many layered pieces and i think it works together let me know what other shows this look could totally blend into i'd be interested to know but all right going to band practice you probably want to look like you've just chucked something on but you look effortlessly i can't say it effortlessly cool so i've gone with these pants that are green that hopefully matches the green in your guitar We've got pockets here for if you need to put any picks in there so you can keep strumming and then a basic kind of tee on top to tie all the colors together and it's just like a fun kind of easy simple look to put together yet you look pretty cool and different. If you don't like crop tops or you want to cover up a little bit more you could definitely throw on like a button up shirt. I've got this denim one like this and it kind of ties in the blue from the green pants but you could totally tone this down with more simple colors. And I chose these Chelsea boot dogs because they're super easy to slide on and off but then they look super grungy and cool like kind of screaming I'm in a band. So first off, I hope your first job interview goes well but I would probably wear something like this. Now it really depends on the job that you're going for. I honestly don't own any kind of business attire, but I would probably try to be a bit more conservative, wear a longer skirt, look a little bit more professional, like look into your wardrobe and see what kind of professional items that you have, if you have any. I haven't gone too crazy with the Doc Martens because you never know, they might just judge you by your shoes. Is that what I do when I see everyone's feet? Yes, I do. I've got just some classic 1461s. It shows that you like Doc Martens, but you're not, you know, about to totally annihilate someone in some stomping shoes. Now, I've tried to keep it not too midriff-y. Tried to connect them so they look like more of a dress, but hopefully I'd get the job. Although, honestly, if you're going for a job and you weren't sure if they like tattoos, um, I would probably wear a long sleeve shirt just to cover up on that first initial meeting. So if all of a sudden you're like, Jen, you're going to a wedding today, this is what I would wear. It's always good to have a nice classy dress in your wardrobe for any random occasion that pops up and this is the one for me. I never wear heels on this channel and probably the only time you'll ever see it but these are the ones that I got recently when I went to a wedding myself. I didn't actually wear socks with them but that's what you're getting today. <laughs> but they are a very flat heel because the wedding I went to was on a hill and I was scared of falling down the hill. Super comfortable to dance around in which is mainly why we're going right? But yeah this is the look I'd go for but I don't really have many dressy looks for you so 
sorry, but I hope you find something for the wedding. I just got a delivery, oh my gosh. And I think it will work really good for the next three items and I didn't even plan this. And we're gonna style it and hopefully it, it works out. Oh, she's totally packed this all nice. It's a Depop purchase, guys. Oh, lovely. Now I couldn't have worn this for the last look because it's white. Okay, so this is literally so cute and I wear it all around Paris if I could and I would totally wear it on my birthday. It is the cutest white dress. To be fair, it is a little bit see-through so I hope you can't see through it but I'm going to try find like a little white slip dress or a like nude slip dress when I'm at the thrift store. Isn't this just so adorable? You could totally do a lot with something like this. So I've added this little sun belt and we got cute little nude white cream, what are they, shoes. I could walk all around Paris and look so chic and classic as well as my birthday. You wanna look like a bit of a princess sometimes and for the person who said just cute I hope that all the outfits that I have made in this video are cute yes oddly grace you are oddly specific but this is what I would wear if I had to win every single hole of mini part just kidding I would probably miss every shot you gotta go comfortable you gotta be able to go a bit like this and like do whatever trick shots you need to do so I've got these fruit patterned pants and I've paired this purple top to kind of match the purple in the grapes so yeah you're keeping it kind of fresh but you're ready to like shred up the golf course now this outfit is probably a little bit controversial for an art teacher but just hear me out I have white overalls yes I know white is probably not good if you're an art teacher but imagine if you wore these like a lot you slowly got more paint on it it would just like slowly become the canvas and you would be basically an art project yourself so that is why I'm wearing these now if you don't want to mess up some white overalls you can definitely thrift some or go with a different color but this is what I would actually wear and I could be like if I didn't do this YouTube thing which kind of is struggling anyway so maybe this is about to happen I think I could fit in as your friendly neighborhood art teacher. So yeah, hit me up if you're hiring at your school. <laughs> I have these kooky glasses, mainly because when I was in school, we had a teacher. I hope she's not watching this, but she totally reminded me of Trelawney from Harry Potter and like literally everyone would say that. And these glasses are giving me that vibe. So I kind of would want to be a Trelawney impersonator if I was an art teacher. <laughs> yeah so i'm literally trying to figure out what i'm taking backpacking to so this is exciting because i'm in the same boat as you i've settled on the fact that i want to have some loose trousers instead of jeans just something that's kind of more of a plain color that can go with so many different tops and shoes so for this outfit i'm going to be wearing these brown ones although i really don't know if i'm going to try find some black ones or something but black's kind of boring sometimes i got these comfy pants that roll up quite small in my backpack if i don't want to wear them i also chose these pants because you can do so many activities in them you could probably hike in them you can sleep in them they're comfy on the plane but then they also look kind of put together if you have to dress up so winning i've got some classic doc martens that are comfortable to walk in every single day. And then for the top, I have gone with this top that I recently made with my Nana. Now I know it's like one of a kind, so it's kind of hard for you to find, but you need to find something that has function in many ways. And this top, it rolls up very, very tiny in my bag, as well as the fact that it's reversible, like we made a different pattern on the other side. So any kind of clothing that you have that can be like reversible or you could use it in many different ways with many different outfits is probably the way to go. I feel like first day at work and being summoned to court kind of is in the same realm of fashion choices. And I really don't know what to tell you, but I'd probably just wear these pants again because they are probably the most like business attire that I own just because they're trousers. Um, but yeah, this is probably the best I can do, sorry. First off, I'm jealous that you're gonna see Green Day and Fall Out Boy. Like, I love Fall Out Boy so much. <laughs> 
it's kind of embarrassing that I still know so many of the words, but this is what I'd wear if I went to an alternative rock kind of concert. Honestly, you don't have to go with the double denim if you don't want to, but if you're trying to like stand out from the crowd and not just wear a band tee and jeans, this is what I'd wear. It's like my take on still a band tee almost and jeans. You got the pockets for all your valuables. You've got a bag just in case you need to take anything with you. And we've got the double denim kind of look going on. I mean, hello, Justin Timberlake. And you know, a concert look is not complete without some platform docs. So that is what we have here. And I think to be honest, this is what my hair would look like at the end of the day, because I'd be too hot. But at the start of the day, unleash the hair. So you can go like this all day. Again, I'm jealous by the things that you guys are doing. All Points East looks amazing and I hope you have the best time. As well as I listen to Ravina and it sounds like really cool music. But this is what I'd wear to either one of those events if I wasn't wearing overalls. Festival vibes or like girly concert vibes. I really like the idea of crochet. It just looks so cute and like it's so comfortable to move around in obviously i got the docks so that you can stomp around walk around all day go for platforms so if you need extra height so you can see and yeah i've added a few different accessories to kind of like amp up the look but not really like add too many layers or anything because it's probably going to get a bit hot so yeah this is the last look and if you've made it this far, can you please subscribe because it was a freaking marathon. Oh, and I forgot to say, <laughs> again, this trusty bag would go with me so that I have everything because there's no pockets in a dress like this. But so that pretty much is every single outfit suggestion that you guys sent through to me. I'm pretty sure. And I'm so sorry if I missed any. I am so sweaty. That was so many outfits. I hope you got some inspo, even if you weren't looking for any of those specific themes. I think all the outfits were super cute and I wear them for like anything. So yeah, let me know your favorite outfit. And yeah, my name has been Jen. If you haven't already, please subscribe. My Instagram's at in the wonder years. And until next time, Keep wondering.